guys and welcome to the family fudge. I am Jennifer and as you can probably tell, I am a Disney mom. So in today's video, I'm talking about my decked out Disney stroller. I'm gonna share with you what I bring to Disney, why I bring it and how I keep it all organized. So stay tuned. Okay guys, now I have a lot of fun ideas to share with you today. Now if you follow me over on Instagram, and if you don't, I totally invite you to, but if you do already follow me on Instagram, you'll probably notice that we go to Disney quite a lot. And that's because number one, everyone in the family just loves it. We love Disney. And number two, we actually don't live that far, so it's not a huge trip for us to go. And number three, we've learned some tips and tricks along the way to make it easier and more affordable for us to go. So in my new Disney hack series, I'm hoping to share these tips and tricks with you, starting with today's video, the stroller. Now with that being said, let me show you what I bring. I'm gonna tell you why I bring it and how I keep it organized. The first item on my list is the Ray Shade. You know the weather in Anaheim and Orlando can be brutal. Sometimes it's extremely hot and other times it rains quite a lot. And unfortunately, many standard stroller shades just aren't long enough to offer the kind of protection that I'd like. And that's why this ray shade is perfect. This offers both sun and rain protection, yet it's lightweight and collapsible. So I don't always have to have it on if I don't want to. I can just take it out of my diaper bag and Velcro it right into place. The black material is a lot like swimsuit fabric and it can shield over 99% of both UVA and UVB rays, but it still allows for a lot of airflow, which is important. Now you can definitely see here where my regular stroller sunshade ends and how much further this extends the coverage. Several of my kids tend to sunburn very easily, so these sunshades are perfect. Now because I have a double stroller, I actually use two of these. I found them on Amazon and they were less than $10 a piece. And with all of these items, you guys, if I have a link, I'll go ahead and leave it in the description box below. Next up, I have my Mickey hook. I get so many compliments on my Mickey hook every time I visit the parks. This is really just a large carabiner and you can find these in all shapes and sizes and colors. I found this one on Amazon. Now you can hang just about anything on these guys, like shopping bags or your purse, but I use this for my kids' water bottles while we're in the park. Bringing and refilling your own water bottles is a great way to save money at Disney and stay hydrated on those hot days. I hook this on the handle of my stroller and then load all of the water bottles on there. That way we never drop or lose a water bottle. Another item that I love on my stroller is the side cargo net. My double stroller has pretty good storage spaces below each seat and behind each seat, but this side cargo net is an excellent addition, especially if you're like me and you have a lot of kids with a lot of stuff. And this cargo net is pretty much where all of my kids store their stuff while we're in the park. Things like their autograph book, their coins for pressed penny machines, the bubble wand and things like that so they can easily grab them quickly when they need them and put them away in the hustle and bustle of disney it's really easy for me to misplace or lose something but this really helps keep track of all of these little items because it gives them a home next up we have these guys now these could be hooks for hanging items off the stroller, or they can also be handles, and that's what we use them for. Now, I kind of tease the kids here, and I call these the naughty handles, because whenever they're wandering off or being naughty, I say, go grab the handle and stay. So yes, these handles definitely work as a timeout spot if needed, but usually they're really helpful if we're in a large crowd, like after the fireworks or as we're exiting the park for the night, the kids can hold on to the handle in a large crowd and we won't lose track of them. So it's, it's kind of a safety thing as well. I really like them. I found these on Amazon and they were about $10. This next item is really only used by my toddler. This is my little sidekick, which is basically a silicone tether. This is great because my toddler likes to throw things out of the stroller. 
things like his snack container or toys, his sippy cup. This will keep it attached to the stroller and we won't lose it, it won't get dirty. It's great. I found this one at Walmart and it was about $7. Up next I have my buggy guard, which is a stroller lock. Now thankfully I've never had my stroller stolen at Disney, but I know people that have and it can ruin your trip. So this lock is great if you're concerned about that. This is a combination lock and you can set it to any combination you like. I found this on Amazon and it was a little bit pricey. This was about $20. But if you have a really expensive stroller, it might be worth it to you. Next up, I have an item that we pretty much only use in 100 degree heat, and it's a stroller fan. Now this actually recharges off of a USB, so it's actually nice and easy to charge while we're in the park. No batteries to have to change out. This is nice and portable. You can clip it anywhere onto your stroller, and it works pretty well. Now right now we only have one of these, we used it a lot with Griffin last year when we took him to Disneyland because he was just a baby and I was concerned about him getting too hot. But if we go a lot this summer, I might buy a second one. Again, I found this on Amazon and it was about $12. Another item that's great for hot weather is this misting fan. They sell these at the park, but they're like $20. I found this one on Amazon. It has really good reviews and it was only $10. And I like that the fan is a soft plastic material so it's not gonna hurt the kids if they stick their fingers in there. This is definitely nice and refreshing on those sweaty hot days at Disney. Next up, I have a huge money saving tip and that is bringing your own food to Disney. Now they do allow you to do this, but there's some restrictions. You have to have a smaller soft side cooler and you can't bring any items in glass containers. I really like this one, I found it on Amazon and this is a 12 can size. So it's not big, but it holds just enough for my family. We like to eat breakfast at our hotel, bring our own lunch, and then buy snacks and dinner at the park. It definitely saves us money every time we go. I have some separate videos on what types of food we bring to Disney, so I'll go ahead and link those videos down below if you'd like to check them out. My very last stroller hack is definitely one of my favorites. Before I go to Disney, I like to stop at the Dollar Tree and stock up on glow bracelets and glow necklaces. And then as soon as it gets dark, we add them to our stroller. It definitely makes the stroller easier to find in the dark and it looks super fun. The kids love it and it's easy to do. And now I'm gonna show you how I organize it all. So this is kind of the grand tour of the stroller. I know it looks like a lot of stuff, but when we go to Disney, we're pretty much there from park opening to park close. And I wanna make sure that I have everything I need without overpacking because you guys, when you go through security at Disney, they are gonna check every single bag and every single pocket of the strollers. So because of this, I like to try to keep everything organized so that I don't hold up the line while they're checking through my bags. And now on to that grand tour. And right off the bat, you're going to see my Disney Parks Starbucks cup. I always bring this with me. And in this little compartment, I like to keep my hand sanitizer. My favorite is this unicorn foam from Bath & Body Works. It smells like candy. And this other cup holder is reserved for my husband to use. Across my handlebars, I have my diaper bag just hanging. This diaper bag came with some stroller hooks, but when you go through security, they want you to take the diaper bag off and open up all the pockets. And so I wanted to be able to easily remove it. So I just have it hanging there. I have a separate video on what's in my diaper bag if you're curious. Next to that, I have some really cute Kleenex tissues and I really like the ones that hang on the stroller so I can grab them quickly. And then on the opposite side is where I have my Mickey hook with the kids' water bottles. Nice and handy. And then of course we have the naughty handles. The kids really don't like it when I call them that, but I still do. We have one on this side of the stroller and one on the other side as well. And then over on this side we also keep the cargo net so that the kids can easily grab their items. And then I have two under storage compartments here. In one I have my ice chest. And on the other side, we keep jackets and a change of clothes, things like that. 
Back around on Griffin's side of the stroller, we like to keep the little tether attached to his snack or whatever toy he's playing with. That way it doesn't get lost. We just keep that right on his tray. And then we have these other two storage compartments behind each seat. On this side, I keep things like my umbrella if I think we're going to need it. And I also keep a rain ponchos. So I have some for the adults, some for the big kids, and some for the little kids. And if we're going on a super sunny day where I don't think it's gonna rain at all, I might just leave this section empty. And then on the opposite side is where I like to keep the fan. This is the spray mist fan, and we only bring this on super hot days. So if it's not in there, I'll usually keep this side empty. And then we can put things that we purchase in there instead. Okay guys, now this setup and this stroller has made it through many trips to Disneyland, and it has served us well. And I try to keep it this way every time we go to the park. And then every night when we make it back to the hotel, I like to go through the stroller, take out all the garbage, reorganize it, and get it ready for the next day before I go to sleep. Okay guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, could you please give it a big thumbs up? And let me know in the comments down below if you bring anything specific when you visit a Disney park because I'm always looking for more good ideas. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.